my feet. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for looking beyond our faults. 
and supplying all our needs. Yeah. And what, according to his riches and glory? Oh man, a cattle on a thousand hills. Do it, Jesus, do it. Thank you, Lord, for being a gracious, merciful God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, who is like unto thee? Who is like unto thee? None like you. There is none like you. Y'all know if I could sing it, I'd sing it for y'all. There is none like you. Who? Nah, I got all that talent. <laughs> Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank everybody for being here. Uh, preaching the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my personal Savior. I thank my pastor, uh, the men on the roster, beautiful ladies of the church, the men of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for being here in, the, in this house one more time. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm just one of them happy fellas. Y'all know it. But, uh, but I know that's because I know the Lord. Hallelujah. I know everything gonna be all right. Amen. Everything gonna be all right. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Our scripture today is gonna come from Mark. Mark chapter 10. All right. And not only that, verses 46 through 52. Oh my Lord, have mercy. <laughs> that superintendent rolling the day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Mark chapter 10. Hallelujah. God is so good. Yeah. Do the storm, do the rain. Yeah. Hallelujah. We celebrate a lot of birthdays this month. You know, Pastor just had a birthday too now. Yeah. 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 August. Uh -huh. yeah, thank you. Love for letting all of us see some birthdays. Yeah, uh, Minister Arthur, wait, somewhere back there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you, love, for all the birthdays. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. It's good to have a celebration. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I uh, want to just uh, welcome the guys that we don't see. That's all sure. That, that tune in. Uh, welcome, guys. Uh, be safe on the water. I know they have a lot extra hazards on the water. Uh, you can't even board some of the platforms. But uh, just be careful because God is good yeah. and safety is of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, okay. So without further ado, let me see. Where's Brother Wesley? I made me some birthdays too. Yeah. Put on my, my, my birthday glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that verse did it. <laughs> All right, Mark 46, and they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. 47, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. 48. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good, of good comfort. Rise, he called thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, what wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Uh, before I get my topic, I'd like everybody to turn to Matthew chapter 14, verse 28. Matthew chapter 14, verse 28. Gonna read uh, verses 28 and 29. And Peter answered him, Jesus, and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he, Jesus, said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Ha ha! Hallelujah! Bless the Lord. Glory to God. 
Our topic today is to stay focused on the Lord. Amen. Stay focused on the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bow before thee, give you the thanks and the praise and the glory and the honor of the Lord. We pray that you cleanse us and wash us and make us meet for your use. We pray that you use each and every one of us the way you want us to be used by you and that we do those things that's pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. We thank you, Lord, for your word, because we know that man does not live by bread alone, but for every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. And we thank you for your word, O Lord, because it's life-giving substance to us, O Lord. It, it adds marrow to our bones. Hallelujah. And we need your word in times of affliction and in times of happiness, O Lord, because we rejoice knowing that you are our God and we are your people. Hallelujah. And we're going to be all right. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We pray that you use me, O Lord, to deliver the word to your people and feed the flock in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't stop uh, reflecting on the Sunday school for this morning uh, with blind Bartimaeus. Because there's a lot of little messages in every one of those verses. And, you know, the, the whole Sunday schools for the whole month of uh, September, the whole month of October is to praise the Lord some kind of way uh, for His goodness. Praise Him. Praise Him in the music. Praise Him in the dance. I'm just thinking, just the topics make me want to just move, you know. Oh, God, mercy to me. <laughs> All right, so, wow. Uh, the, the Sunday school start off... Uh, Exodus 15, 11. Uh, who is like unto thee, O Lord? Who is like unto thee? And, and they go that song, there's none like you. Oh. Hallelujah. And uh, that, that, with Exodus 15, they were talking about uh, rejoicing over the Lord at, with the victory uh, coming out of the wilderness. Uh, thank you, Lord, for getting us out of these bondages and wildernesses that a lot of times we get ourselves into. <laughs> and some things... He allows us to be in these circumstances so he can show himself. Hallelujah. Like he hardened Pharaoh's heart. Nah, I don't want to release y'all just yet. I'm going to show Pharaoh a couple of things or two. And one of the things that uh, uh, Moses showed him, he said, uh, let there be darkness. Well, when you say let there be darkness, well, one of uh, the, the Egyptian gods that they worship is the light one, Ra. And, uh, you know, it's like, Hold on, that, look, when I command the light, it's going to be light. When I say darkness, it's going to be darkness. God is God all by himself. Amen. When Moses put the, uh, his uh, staff down and it turned to a serpent, the magician said, oh, we can do that. Look, we can put our little staff down and turn it into a serpent too. But what happened? Moses, serpent ain't up all these serpents like, ha, how you like me now? That's one of, that's one of God's drop the mic moment right there. <laughs> And one of them, one of his many, one of his many drop the mic moments. Yeah, yeah look, hey, I'm God all by myself. Who is like unto thee? No one else. There's none like you, Lord. None like you. Hallelujah. Now, I, I chose this. No, I ain't going to say I chose it. The Lord put this in my spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because we all going through something. So verse 46. And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, Blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus. So, okay, Bartimaeus, you blind. He sat by the wayside begging. Now, I feel like this is a little pitiful situation. You know, well, hey, blind, can't see. Nobody giving me nothing, but I'm going to hold my little cup and hope somebody put something in it. A little jingle in there, make me happy, you know. And, you know, all these pitiful situations that we have today, uh, we have spiritual blindness. We had the virus, of course, uh, other illnesses, the hurricane. Some people still recuperate from that. Just no electricity, the inconvenience of, of that. Uh, fire in California. Yeah. Hallelujah. We got all the rain down south and no fire. Like, <laughs> Have mercy today, Lord. Uh, increased insurance costs. It's like, man, you know. You know, do, yeah, do I, do, I, do I want this house now? <laughs> In, increased cost of food. You know, it's like, well, hey, just to feed our families now. But so we all going through something. And, 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 it's, and it, when it's all said, it's a, it's a pitiful situation. So blind Bartimaeus let us know, hey, this is a pitiful situation. You know? 
Okay, in the next verse he said, and when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth, oh no. Now I gotta stop right there. Jesus, I'm getting excited myself. Okay, so hope. There's hope in Jesus, right? Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. And uh and regardless of what we're going through, there's always hope. Yeah. Uh, Romans 5, 3 to 5 says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. And that's that's that one where I was scratching my head. Glory in tribulations. Well, yeah. <laughs> Knowing that tribulation work in patience. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's hard, but I, I know there's an endurance factor that's up in me. Yeah, yeah, I used to run track when I was in college and, you know, uh, the, for the 800 meter relay, I say, oh yeah, I, I saw you, I saw you, so I'm going to go fast. But I go fast and by that last lap, I'm like, oh Jesus, you just help me to get across the line. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a pace, it's a pace. And without pacing yourself, <laughs> You can't lose the race, and we don't want to lose no races that we set out to run. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, knowing that tribulation work in patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. So my experience for the, for the track was, okay, I know better next time. Yeah. So I kind of conserved myself, and everybody passed me up this time. I said, okay, that last lap came, oh, here come Mr. Ride, pow. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I said, I got that that spaghetti energy. I, I, ate them, I was able to eat them carbs and they didn't just stay right there back in their days. <laughs> Hallelujah. And hope and make it not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. So thank you Lord for your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. So we know that there's hope in Jesus and uh, I don't know what it is but it look like the people that's outside the church can look at the people in the church and tell that you blessed for, for whatever the reason. But sometimes when you're in the church and you, you, you get your little Sunday school lesson or your or your the uh, the message that's preached, you know, it just seemed like, well, yeah, okay, that's a good lesson. But I don't know, just uh it, I don't know, it just seemed like uh, you still have issues and problems and uh, the Lord didn't say that you wouldn't have issues or problems, but He will bring you through it. Amen. So that's the difference. And you got to know that, have the confidence. Okay, God, you brought me to this point. Mm -hmm. What do I do from here? Yeah. God, I'm going to lean on you because I can't lean on my own understanding. Yeah. Uh, I know you have infinite wisdom and you know the whole picture. Yeah. I just know this little teeny portion yeah. Yeah. And, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Have mercy today. But I know with you on my side, I'm yeah. going to be all right. Amen. Hope in the Lord. Hope yeah. in Jesus. We yeah. don't ever want to give up that hope in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The higher authority. Yeah. Hallelujah. Even the devil. Well, Lord, can I have permission? Uh, that Joe, well, he's doing pretty good. And I'm kind of jealous of all of that. You know, I was second in command at one time. Yeah, yeah Joe. All right, I'm going to give you just this much, you know, permission. Uh, so he had to get permission from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better recognize who. What? Hold on. Let me drop that mic again. <laughs> All right. Verse uh, 48 says, And many charged that he should hold his peace, but he cried uh, the more great deal, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Now, now, this whole verse to me was distractions because he could have been easily dis distracted. Now, let me give you all the ghetto version of this verse right here. Hey, shush your mouth. Don't you shush me. I might be mad, but you hold my cane for a minute. I'm going to shush you. I'm going to do some shushing around here. I'm going to shush me. I'm Jesus? <laughs> all right, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, don't shush me. I'm, I, I know what I'm hoping for. If he's coming, I want him to know that I'm here. Amen. I tell you what, if the saints make a touchdown, we tell them, I know we men, you know, we tell them, oh yeah, good. We don't care who looking. We do an Indian dance, whatever we do. And, and it don't matter what everybody else thinks, say, whatever. We rejoicing in our moment. Yeah. Hallelujah. So if we have a moment of hope, hallelujah, we hope. Oh, Jesus, have Nazareth, have mercy on me. It don't matter what anybody else thinks. Have mercy on me. This is just my moment. If, if I'm the baby crying, I want milk, I bet your mama come. Yeah. My will come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. So, so what do you say? Uh, twice a child? Hey, we'll be crying out to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. 
So distractions. So uh, we can be distracted with the illnesses. We can be distracted with the circumstances, with the environment. Uh, Peter was distracted by that water, yeah. right? Because uh, the winds, when the winds pick up, the water will get boisterous too, you know. But but hey, <laughs> he did call on Jesus. Amen. Right. And, 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 and it's amazing uh, because when, when he called on Jesus, the Lord stretched his hand and grabbed him and saved him right then and there. So it wasn't like, okay, look, Peter, I'm going to be right back. Let me finish walking on water first. <laughs> I'm going to catch you on my way back. I got to make some groceries. <laughs> when I come back, I get you. <laughs> no, he didn't put us off. Yeah. You know, he, 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 he hear our faintest cry and he'll answer by and by. Thank you, Lord, for being a, a prayer hearing God. In regards to what the prayer is, in regardless of how short it is, Jesus. That's, it. That's a prayer right there. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah. He knows, he knows your heart. Yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh, Lord. Ah, so uh, I thought about the cares of this world too, like the, the seed thrower. Uh, if, if, the, if the seed is among the thorns, something about the cares of this world, and, and you know, you know the word is good. Well, but nah, I gotta do this first, and I gotta do that first. And some of the cares of the world sometimes can distract you from what you really need to be doing. Amen. So, so I heard that. How do you heard that? He was outside. <laughs> but uh, I know some of y'all ladies have good hearing too. I used to whisper to my buddies, yeah, so, so, so. I heard that what? in the front of the house, two story house. We, all right, then. This is before iPad with the, you know, the, uh, the ring and all that stuff. This just instinct from, y'all yeah, better watch it. Don't be lying to your mama. <laughs> And, and God will make sure the mamas uh, are taken care of. You try to sneak in that door, that bad boy will squeak like a, a haunted house movie. <laughs> Never did that before. You know, because God sees all. Hallelujah. He sees all. In all things, uh, He cares. Uh, that reminds me of uh, the song Sister Pat was singing for us. He cares. In Psalm 8. Uh, Oh Lord, I, oh Lord, our oh Lord, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Uh, wait, let me get down there. What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visited him? So even though he's a high priest, oh, he can see down there, oh yeah, they go my children, making sure they're all right. And if they call upon my name, I'm, I'm right there. You know? yeah. Peter is falling the wall, I'm right there, yeah. I'm right there. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for being right there all the time. Even when we don't recognize her. Just because we don't see you don't mean you ain't there. You are there. And we thank you for being there. Hallelujah. The great high priest. Hallelujah. Um, blind Bartimaeus. Once they said, bid him to come unto me. Oh, shoot, that's exciting. What he did, he cast his garments. Well, if he cast his garments, that means if he had a little coin cup in his hand, that went away too. Oh, yeah. If he cast away his garments, shoot, that's everything he had. Yeah. Well, he ain't got no more. But hold on, he had his eyes on the prize. Yeah. The Lord called me. I'm going to him. Amen. Oh, yeah, I've been waiting for this moment. Because <laughs> the doctors can't heal this here. Yeah. You know, Miriam had leprosy after talking about her brother Moses, right? And Moses. Uh, I say, yeah, that's your uh, your brother is Aaron, only because he didn't grow up with her. You know, he grew up in Pharaoh's uh, household, whereas uh, Aaron and uh, Miriam grew up together. But aside from all that, well, Miriam, well, what made Moses uh, Mr. Man around here? Because the Lord talked to me too. It's like, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. Yeah. So God was mad with, with her and what gave her leprosy. And <laughs> for her punishment, she only had it seven days. But leprosy then was an uncurable disease. You know, I, I look up leprosy in the uh, in the dictionary, and I'm waiting to see something drastic. Yeah, your, your arm gonna fall off or something. You know, <laughs> but they say, oh, it's just a little skin disease. Like, shoot, well, that ain't how they describe it here. You know? <laughs> you know, what and they say, uh, turn this white as snow, no blood circulation. Oh, have mercy to day. But and the law say, okay, well, let us stay out the camp seven days, mm -hmm. I'm a healer, and then she can come on back in. Yeah. <laughs> so some things we bring on ourselves, so watch what you say. Amen. Have mercy today. Oh, Lord, help us to keep our mouths. Yeah. Hallelujah. Like but here we go. Uh, 
But Bartimaeus, he cast his garments through the cup wherever. They don't see nothing about a cup in there, but he had to have a little bit because he was begging, you know. And, and then, hey, shoot, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Jesus. Now, I don't care what I lose because I'm about to gain something that I really yeah, want. Yeah, God, yeah, I need yeah. support to me. This is what I want. Yeah. Hallelujah. So humble yourselves, therefore, to the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him because he cared for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because you, that your adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion walking about, seeing whom he may devour, seeing if somebody disobeying God, because then he get that permission. Because mm -hmm. he constantly asking God, they got a lot of people, especially in that little church around that corner on Y Street. Mm -hmm. I like to get me some of them. Yeah. Shush your mouth, sing. The Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Submit to God. And resist the devil and he will flee. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Lord asks blind Bartimaeus, what shall I do for you? Oh, now that sounds like a trick question to me. So wait, he blind. But now wait, let me give y'all some alternative answers. Well, Lord, you see I'm shaking this cup. I want to eat my next meal. I want, I want this cup to be loaded down. Mm -hmm. I go to Popeye's. <laughs> get me a meal. I want some new clothes. I've been ragging, wearing these raggedy ones for a while. I want some new clothes. No, he, all that was cast away because he wanted to be healed. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and the Lord give you the desires of your heart. Well, Lord, tell me what's important to me because sometimes I'm distracted by the cares of this world. Mm -hmm. But if you show me, yes. hey, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to talk to my Catholic brothers and sisters just for a minute because they tune it in too. Uh, we give up stuff for Lent around Lent season or at Mardi Gras time. We got 40 days of Lent. Give up. All right, so, uh, <laughs> and I witnessed the priest say, well, what did you give up? I gave up smoking. You need to give that up anyway. <laughs> what did you give up? I gave up drinking. You need to give that up anyway, you know. Uh, some of the things that we give up, it's like, oh, you need to give that. That should have been been given up. And, uh, you know, I got to admit, I, I had gave up partying in the streets. Huh, you should have gave that up anyway. When, when I did, I had more money in my pocket. I thought that was amazing. But it's, it's just amazing. You go to these clubs and stuff, and you just spend money like water. And it's like, oh, Lord, by just being obedient unto you and trying to do the right thing, next thing you know, I'm richer. Hallelujah. God bless the Lord. So he blesses people now. Hallelujah. In ways that, that you don't see initially because it feel like you're giving up something. Man, I'm giving up something. I'm giving up. And then next thing you know, you blessed. It's like, whoo, that was worth that giving up. And, and we all give up something. If, if you want a brand new car, you're going to give up a part of your salary. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't feel like working, man, it's raining today. Man, I got to go. That car don't kick it. <laughs> Have mercy today. That bad boy be kicking, kicking hard too. <laughs> Don't want to work. All right, to borrow a servant to the lender. Oh, shucks, okay. I got to go. It could be raining, it could be storming. Ida could be looking at you. Come on outside. <laughs> Come on out here. Put your little car don't pay itself. Come on. <laughs> Have mercy today. Have mercy today. But anyway, anyway, uh, God, God provides all our needs to come to his riches and glory. And, and he know, he know you, you need things. And we come, you know. We'll be overcome us. You know. So all of us got plenty of new, new, new vehicles in here. I'm not discouraging nobody from getting no new vehicles. Because God has a way to, to, to squash that for you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But what? Uh, tribulation working. Amen. Patience. So we got to be patient. In, in, even in our tribulation. Yeah. But we can glory in it. Oh yeah. That's all right, tribulation, because I know God got this and I got yeah. hope in Jesus. Yeah. So, so you can't steal my job. Amen. God gave it to me. You can't yeah. take it away. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, so Jesus said, uh, go thy way. Thy faith have made thee whole. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't know. So he received his sight immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I was just thinking about it immediately because I, I thought about a cake being in the oven. Well, first you got to mix the batter 
I know some of y'all make some real good cakes, boy. So I'll wait for it. I, I will sit down. Well, look, it's going to be ready in two days. All right, well, two days. I'll just be right here. And the cakes be so good. But, but you got to mix the batter. You got to put that in the oven. You got to wait for Then, hey, once, once it's out and baked, you can't just put the icing on it. Now you got to wait for it to cool. Wait for it to cool. Now y'all know. We all go through these childs and say, Ma, I can smell that cake all through the house. <laughs> it ain't time to get it now. <laughs> no, son, you got to wait for it. All right, all right. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, Mama used to let me lick the bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh -huh. So, hey, you had a little fringe benefit of just being there. You like a big brother back there. That's why the bowl was clean. <laughs> I, I volunteered to wash the dishes. I'm going to take care of that for you, Mama. <laughs> Shoot. Mercy! Yeah. I'll wash your dishes Let's too. Go back. <laughs> but anyway, hallelujah. You go that faith. That faith had made you whole. So in Christ we become a new creature. And just something about it, whenever uh you part of something that that's that's greater than you and you know it, I I don't, I don't want to go back. So now we got LSU fans, but the LSU fans, we there because what? The, the team will win, you know. Hey, the, the only the only championship true game was LSU and Alabama. It's like, oh, it's gonna be a good one. The two biggest, baddest SEC teams. Uh, we're gonna watch this, you know. But whoever will win that game was like, oh yeah, that, they're going all the way to the championship. They're gonna be, a, you know, the national team. And you know, it's it's a rejoicing. But anyway, whenever we find out that we become a new creature in Christ. Oh, we don't want to go back after that. And anybody that, it's like uh, people who, who just look at you for face value, well, I don't see no difference. Look like the same uh, Brother Brian that I saw way in, and uh, you know, I don't know. But but the whole thing is, you know. And, and now when you face your problems, you have hope because now you're hoping in the Lord. Yeah. You're a new creature, yeah. a new creature. Give God a hand for being a new creature. So, so if he can allow Peter to walk on the water and, and you to do greater things, yeah. oh Lord. And then what Peter did one more time, when, okay, when he started looking at the situation, the circumstances that he was in, that's when he lost focus. Yeah. If he would have stayed focused, he could have walked on water, that would have been in the storm. But no, he saw them circumstances. So we got to make sure that we're going through all these different circumstances because even the hurricane gone. The hurricane had done this thing. It, 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 it hit Louisiana. Uh, a lot of ruin in the southern coast of the, uh, Louisiana. Then it went hit the northern states and flooded them out. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hurricane done this thing. It, 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 God said, go do it. Boom. Mm -hmm. Bam. Gone. Mm -hmm. Done it. Mm -hmm. But now we got to do what God told us to do. Mm -hmm. He said, if my people, yes. which are called by my name, will humble themselves. Yes. 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 We got to give God some glory. Yes. And even though the situation and the circumstances yes. might look, nah, 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 we're looking up to, to God. Yes. Because that's where our hope is. Our yes. hope not in this anyway. So it don't matter whether I knew whether, if I wear a new pair of pants or an old pair of pants. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I want to go to heaven. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. But God is good all the time. Yeah. He's merciful. Yeah. Even though he sit high, he looks low. And when we stay focused on him, wonders can happen. Amen. Amen. And not only for us, but our families and all the people that, yeah. that's, that we affect. And, yeah. and you'd be surprised uh, how many people that you affect, you know. Because some people, well, I don't even matter. I don't. Well, look, mm -hmm. we go back to Psalm 139. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah. Everybody, Amen. you know, and you, you, you're a fearfully and wonderfully made person. Don't ever forget that and don't ever lose your hope in God and stay focused on Him. Stay amen. focused, stay amen. focused, stay amen. focused on the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. 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 amen.
Hey. Okay.